Okay, this is number three on our chapter three and four test review. Um, it is the square root of x plus four minus two, and the minus two is outside the parentheses, equals x. The first thing that we do in this situation is we have to be sure that we get the negative two. We have to get that on the right side of the equal sign. We have to make sure that the square root of x plus four is alone. It has to be on one side of the equation by itself. So I am going to add two to both sides and when I do that I end up with x plus four equals x plus two. Now we are going to use the power property and we are going to square both sides of this equation. So I'm going to take the left side of my equation and square it, and then I'm going to take the right side of my equation and square it. So when I square something that has a square root, it becomes just what is inside of that square root. So when I square the square root of x plus 4, once I've done that, it simplifies to just x plus 4. Now, on the right side of the equation, I have x plus 2 inside parentheses, and that is squared. I, I have to FOIL that now. It is not x squared plus 2 squared. Many students do that, and um, that is incorrect. So, um, now I'm going to FOIL, or FOIL my x plus 2 times x plus 2. I'm left with x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. I need to simplify that and I end up with x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, because it is raised to a power of 2, we have our x squared right there, that means it is a quadratic. And any time we have a quadratic, we have to get it into standard form. And the way that we do that is we make it equal to 0. So right here, we are going to subtract both of those and move those to this side of the equation. Um, so I am going to subtract x from both sides and I am going to subtract 4 from both sides. When I do that, I'm left with 0 on the left side of the equation, and I have x squared plus 3x plus 0. The 4 and the negative 4 simplify out, so they make 0. So some students, when they get to this point, they think that they have made a mistake, and you have not made a mistake if you get to this point right here. Um, x squared plus 3x is the correct um, phrase right here. Okay, 0 equals x squared plus 3x is the correct expression. I am going to factor out an x in both of those terms. So x times x plus 3 is what that factors to. So I have factored out the greatest common factor, which is an x. Now, to finish solving this quadratic, I'm going to have 0 equals x, and I'm going to have 0 equals x plus 3. So the two values that I have for x are 0 and negative 3. Okay, now, anytime you're dealing with square roots, and actually, I kind of think anytime you're dealing with any mathematical equation or inequality, that it's a good idea to check. But when you are dealing with square roots, you can always get something that's called an extraneous solution. So it's very important to go back and check because we might have to throw one of our answers out. So I am going to check x equals 0. So I'm going to go back to my original equation. You always go back to the original and I'm going to plug in 0 for x. So I have the square root of 0 plus 4 minus 2 equals 0. 0 plus 4 is 4, so I have the square root of 4 minus 2 equals 0. The square root of 4 is 2. 2 minus 2 equals 0. And that checks. So x equals 0 is part of my solution. 
Now I'm going to do the x equals negative 3. So I'm going to check that. Okay, so I'm going to plug in negative 3 everywhere that I have an x. So I have the square root of negative 3 plus 4. And then outside the parentheses, I have minus 2 equals negative 3. So then square, negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. So I have the square root of positive 1 minus 2 equals negative 3. The square root of 1 is 1. And 1 minus 2 is not equal to negative 3. So this situation right here is false. That means that x equals negative 3 is an extraneous solution and it is not part of our answer. So the only answer that I have is x equals 0.